This altercation between Luka Doncic and Anthony Edwards gave us flashbacks to the original Doncic Booker beef from the Mavs 2022 Game 7 Take You Behind the Woodshed beatdown in Phoenix. This type of Slovenian trash talk also happened in this year's first round with Luka and James Harden. So it's wraps anytime Doncic feels comfortable enough to start playing mind games. And we're seeing a pattern annually repeat itself here. In what's become philosophically considered as the quote unquote better than Luka cycle, we've now reached the stage where Doncic destroys the new breakout guard that the NBA has gassed up. And yes, many hyped up Edwards too soon, given he's only 22. While the players compared to him like Doncic and Tatum are three and four years older respectively. At the same time, this just shows you how much better Doncic is than even the best talent the NBA has to offer. While Luka is just 25, this man has been doing what he does professionally for 12 years, having turned pro at age 13. This amount of high level experience allows him to read and react to any type of defense thrown at him. Prayers up to Derek Lively II. A freak accident saw Lively take a knee to the back of the head, sprain his neck, initially be questionable to return, but ultimately leave the arena for an MRI. This adds to the list of DL2's trials and tribulations after losing his second of two parents last month. Derek would state regarding his mother passing, quote, extremely hard to have such a taxing thing happen in your life. A part of me left me. I'm not able to be myself because I can't have my mom with me or my dad with me, but it makes me want to fight that much harder. I'm able to have both my mom and my dad watching over me. Making Kathy Drisdale proud, Lively was a perfect 13 for 13 from the field in the conference finals before going down, and owned the second highest rookie plus minus in playoff history, only trailing Manu Ginobili, and the Mavs are going to need Lively back to reach their full potential. Because when Lively went down, this opened up the inside for Ant-Man to get what he wanted. However, Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic have displayed to be the greatest offensive backcourt of all time. That's proven by the fact that Kai and the Don are the first starting backcourt to each have at least 30 points in the same game three times in a postseason over the last 50 years. Not even the revolutionary Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson have done that, even with all of the Splash Brothers playoff experience. In Game 3 of the 2024 West Finals, Luka and Kyrie combined for 66 points, 11 assists, 8 rebounds, and 5 steals. But we can't overlook the Mavericks front office hitting on all their recent transactions being a big reason for why they're now just 5 wins from winning the title. Spencer Dinwiddie, Dorian Finney-Smith, a 2029 first round pick, and two second round picks turned into 8 time All-Star and NBA champion Kyrie Andrew Irving. It was then Dallas drafting Derek Lively II late in the lottery at pick number 12. Outstanding pick. GM Nico Harrison's heist from this past February included turning Grant Williams, Seth Curry, plus a top two protected 2027 first round pick into stretch big PJ Washington and two second round picks. Then the Mavericks turned Rashawn Holmes and a 2024 first round pick via the Thunder into rim protecting role man Daniel Gafford. The Timberwolves tried everything to stop the Mavericks best player in screen and rolls. Whether it was drop coverage, games and then struggle in game two. Doncic. Playing up to the level of the screen defense. Everyone for Doncic, third consecutive 30 point game in this series. Works by McDaniels, who's gotta be careful. Spins, fades, fires, hits. Full on switching. Finally up there, screened by Gafford. It's one on one, free Luka. Hedging with a second defender before having that man recover. Made three here of the evening. Daniels had that wonderful game one. Here's Luka in the corner. Jones triple. Or blitzing pick and rolls. In for the Mavs. Here is Doncic fighting right for the Luka mind-bogglingly had an answer time and time again. The way Luka knows how to carve up a defense and the talent he has to match that high IQ wherewithal is second to none and can drive opponents crazy. 
Luka and Kyrie have the polished skill to be able to manufacture anything off the bounce, and having the poise to do it in any situation, combined with their passing abilities to thread the needle through traffic, gives these two unstoppable shot-creating range. So, even the most intensified defenses, with savvy game planning to go along with it, aren't going to be enough. Throughout my years of being a basketball fan, I don't think there have been two pure shot creators as lethal as this on the same team, let alone in the same backcourt that I've witnessed. Considering their playing styles are pretty similar, how Luka and Kyrie have coexisted to share the ball well enough in order to lead the Mavericks to where they've gotten to, I think is just as impressive as anything else about this once in a lifetime incredible to watch, one two punch. If you're new and love basketball, join the community and subscribe so you don't miss a single topic. This was D Flow. Thanks to the world for watching. I'll see you next video.